This video will show how to remove excess bone around an implant using the Biomax Profiler Kit. Included in the kit are four drills and a profiling pin. The first drill is 3.7 millimeters in diameter and should be used for abutments with a diameter of 3.6 millimeters or less. The second drill is 4.5 millimeters in diameter and should be used for abutments with a diameter of 4.4 millimeters or less. The third drill is 5.5 millimeters in diameter and should be used for abutments with a diameter of 5.4 millimeters or less. And the fourth drill is 6.5 millimeters in diameter and should be used for abutments with a diameter of 6.4 millimeters or less. The most likely scenario where this would occur is when placing the implant subcrestal. It may be necessary to perform bone profiling to allow wider prosthetic components to seat completely. It may also be necessary to profile when bone has grown over the top of the implant between the first and second stage procedure. To use the profiler kit, begin by removing the cover screw. Place the profiling pin into the implant and screw in until it's finger tight. Select the appropriate profiling drill from the kit that matches the size of the abutment or healing abutment that you are using. You should select the size profiler just larger than the size of the abutment you're seating. Set the handpiece to 800 RPMs and allow the handpiece to spin the profiler until it bottoms out and removes all the excess bone. Rinse any bone shavings away and then remove the profiling pin. Now the abutment should be able to fully seat without impinging on bone or tissue. 